Hi there everybody, I'm Niblet K. I'm still sick, but welcome to another Heroes of the Storm uh, video. And I'm gonna make this video a little bit shorter. I just wanna talk a little bit about um, what kind of uh, heroes you will find in Heroes of the Storm. So you're gonna have warrior heroes. Now, you might think, okay, warriors, they're all warriors, right? They're big tanks, they're your tanky dudes. Well, yes and no. There are different kind of types. So, for instance, Johanna is one of the types that's really tanky, and she's supposed to go in there in the front line and also be very uh, annoying for the other team. So she's going to move them around, she's going to blind them, and she's going to stun them and stuff like that. Plus, she has a lot of shield, a lot of health, so she will be one of those characters that's really hard to take down, and she's gonna be slowly poking away at your health and annoying you and repositioning you. So that's basically one of the tank heroes, right? Next, we have Artanis. Now, Artanis is basically a brawler type hero. He does basically the same things. He's going to reposition you, he has a lot of health, he has shields that always regenerate, if that's his trait, but he is a brawler uh, class, so to say, because he is meant to do a lot of damage to you. He drives on being in combat constantly, constantly hitting you and constantly taking damage, that's what he is best at. So like we said, Diablo is also one of those guys that like to take you out and push you around Take you out of your team's comfort and put you inside of your teams uh, So then you can get a nice skill Diablo is not really a brawler. He will not do that much damage. However, he will soak up a lot of damage and Then we have Tyrael. Tyrael is a good good support kind of uh, tank he will have a lot of beneficial uh, things for your team he can give shields to your allies and stuff like that uh, Leoric is a different kind of warrior because he is really good against other warriors he's good at lane clearing and stuff like that uh, so like I said there are specific warrior types right the Hakka. The Hakka. <laughs> the Hakka is really cool. He can go underground, he can teleport, he can basically do a lot of stuff, and he can be everywhere he is needed if he is played correctly. He has a lot of sustain, and he has a lot of damage, and he can uh, pretty much do anything he wants against a lot of people. Granted, he has his own weaknesses like all the other characters, but hey, he is really difficult to play against. A good Dahaka player will be really annoying for the enemy team. Anubarak is one of those uh, characters that is uh, slightly tanky, not that much. Pretty okay, but you know, uh, Dahaka is one of those characters that is really about going in there and interrupting and stunning and doing a lot of annoying stuff to the enemy he has a lot of stuns roots or whatever those things are called uh, he can isolate a, a player completely out of the game with his ultimate which is cocoon so making basically a team fight a four against five or five against four depending on how you look at it and that's really powerful. It's really powerful because you're gonna isolate probably one of the stronger characters or their healer or something like that. Uh, you can also burrow to the back line and secure that they will not receive healing from the back line or something like that. So it's a very, very good character. Muradin. Now, Muradin is one of the characters that likes to be. Uh, basically ignored people will ignore Muradin because he is so hard to kill uh, 
but you can jump around, you can stun people, you can do a little bit of poking and just be annoying and be a good frontliner for your team. Now Cho is one of those characters that is not basically the same thing because Cho Gal is one of those characters that has to be played by two people in the same team so you gotta play with a friend and one of you is gonna be Cho which uh, will control the character and the other one's going to be Gal which will only be a mage kind of uh, character and he will only use spells. Other than that Cho Gal uh, has a lot of health he can do a lot of damage, but granted, he is one body for two players, so you will always be four against five. So you gotta be careful if you're gonna die with Chogal. It's gonna be a huge, huge difference. Because it's basically like taking two members of your team out of the game for a while. So that's gonna be really hard on your team if you die. Zarya. Zarya is a really good character. She can take care of herself with her shields, she can shield your allies, and she can do a lot of damage to minions and to heroes as well. Her ultimates are really good because she can, uh, depending on situation, make choke points so that the enemy team cannot uh, come towards you or stuff, something like that, or if you have a good synergy, uh, character pick something like that on your team or other other ultimate um, the graviton pulse bomb or whatever it's called if you catch a lot of people in it uh, and you combo that with someone else's like for instance Nova's ultimate and that's gonna be a lot of damage on the entire team in one shot Artis is a nice character he's really tanky again like almost all warriors you have some kind of crowd control some kind of cc uh, granted it is a skill shot if you miss you will not um, freeze him but you will freeze him if you hit him uh, other than that he has an aura that you can activate uh, you can toggle it on and off depending how much you want it active and it will slow everything around you and he does also have a lot of self-sustain so that's one of the characters that can do a lot of stuff as well, be annoying and hard to kill. So again, Varian is the only cast that has multiple roles. It's he has basically three roles. He's an assassin, a tank and something else. I'm not sure exactly what, but one's more like a really tanky version where he's really hard to heal, kill. One's a really aggressive version where he has two swords and stuff like that. And one can be, uh, it's basically like a brawler kind of type. He does a lot of damage and he can stun and do things like that. ETC is one of pr probably one of the first uh, tanks you're gonna play. Uh, ETC, Diablo and Muradin probably are the most accessible in the beginning. Artis as well, maybe. <coughs> like I said, ETC is really good. You have your slide attacks, your slide things, so you're gonna be annoying, stunning people, moving them around, having uh, self sustain in the form of healing a little bit, and it's a really good character. He has two ultimates, one of them is really good if you want to go to objectives really fast you can jump in the air and you get somewhere else on the map doing a little bit of damage and stunning them for a short period i think and the other one is mosh pit where you will basically force everyone that is in your ultimate to dance so that's really cool if you get all of them in your mosh pit there are sitting ducks for your teammates to take off bam one by one garrosh is a newer hero he is really one of the most annoying heroes that will take you out of your comfort and do anything possible to put you in harm's way he will throw you back he will throw you over the wall so you gotta be really careful when playing against Garrosh and when you're playing Garrosh 
you just gotta look out for those opportunities when someone's out of place you just snack you just snack them up you just blah throw them up throw them up in your team's damage in your forts in everything other than that let's talk about diva diva is an interesting character because she has the mech she's really slow but really tanky she does a lot of damage like in the form of area of effect basically because she has a specific skill so she can constantly hit things while moving and while repositioning and if she dies while she's in the mech she will actually jump out in her normal form and she will be like a little small assassin so really squishy but she will do a lot of damage um, stitches is an interesting character a lot of sustain a lot of health will not do that much damage however he can pull allies or enemies with his hook with his hook ability that is a skill shot it's really hard to get used to but if you're a good stitches player you can do a lot of interesting plays with him uh, he's not that uh, meta now, I guess, but he is definitely an interesting, interesting character. And now we're getting to the last ones. Sonia is definitely one of the brawlers because she drives herself to do a lot of damage, be in the middle of the fight and just heal off of everything that's around her with her whirlwind attack and stuff like that so she is really good at doing damage and stuff like that she is not your tank so basically uh, you need to have double tanks so double warriors in order to play stuff like this it's not a necessary it's not a necessary thing but it will definitely be better uh, Rexar is unique in his own way it, because the tank version is basically our bear he has a lot of health it's hard to kill and he also has the stun and rexar can stay behind and chip away do damage take care of the bear take care of misha heal him up and stuff like that you can micro the bear and yourself uh, so if you get really good at that you can take camps a lot easier you can even solo boss sometimes if you're really good and yeah rexor is really good in uh good players hands he is a force to be reckoned with and let's not forget misha is so cute right and last we have chan the panda so chan is also a brawler because he is definitely hard to kill because he has to drink and he's always constantly getting shields but he's really annoying because he will also always jump on you. He will always hit you, always make you slowed. So it's really hard to get away from a good Chen player. Plus, it's really hard to kill him. And he can also give, if he has specific talents, he can give his allies a shield around him when he's drinking. Um, like I said, he can slow. He has a lot of slow potential with different kind of builds with he has a lot of skills he has the keg he has the, you can make enemies catch on fire and you can jump on them so other than that he is really annoying like i said uh, plus his ultimate if he transforms into the rolling barrel he can reposition basically the entire enemy team or just take someone out completely and put him in harm's way or just take him out of the fight so that he cannot be useful for his team um, yeah so those are basically all of the warriors that are now in the nexus uh, that was like a short short variation about what each character does and how they function uh, I would suggest for newer players so here it comes newer players should definitely get used to ETC Diablo and Tyrael these are three of very useful like you know if you need a tank 
other carriers, uh, carriers, characters that you should get really good at. So you have the Haka, Anubarak, and Artas. Those are three characters that are really good, really, really good. Even as a solo warrior or as a double warrior. Those are really good, like always, all the time. Varian, if you're a good Varian player, you're gonna do perfect. He is really annoying to play against. Uh, he's really hard to kill if he is going for the constant shield, uh, whatever it is that it's called. I forgot right now because I'm also a noob sometimes. <laughs> but that's besides the point. And then you can get into your brawlers. Uh, I would suggest Artanis and Sonya. So try mastering at least one of these whichever you're comfortable with. I think Artanis is a little bit easier to get uh, used to. Uh, Sonia might be a little bit harder to get used to and master, but I would suggest Artanis. He's really cool and he's uh, beginner friendlier than Sonia because he has more sustain, more survivability easier by just being aggressive. So if I would suggest three characters so I would probably suggest ETC, Artanis, and either Anubarak or the Haka. The Haka is a little bit harder to master, a little bit, but not that bad. But you will get punished if you don't play a good the Haka, your team will suffer. So, like I said, my three heroes for you that you should get used to as a warrior class. Uh, I would say EDC, Artanis, and Anubarak. After that, you can try out whatever heroes you want, whatever heroes you might have, uh, you know, from loot chests or stuff like that, or events, I don't know. If you're lucky, just get all of them. And I'll see you soon in the Nexus. Have fun being a warrior. A true Nexus warrior. I'll see you in the next episode when we're gonna be talking about assassins. Yeah, see you soon.